Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about if an electric vehicle can reduce the electricity bill. So till now in my research videos we have been talking about different types of electric vehicle and different types of things that a vehicle can do and the possible outcomes in the future for an electric vehicle. In this video though, how can having an electric vehicle can reduce your electricity bill and is it even a possible case? So, for first thing, we need to learn about the energy cost. Now, energy cost is something that depends on the time of when the energy is being used. Now, time of usage is type of basically price-based program that is particularly convenient for residential users. This basically means that the time frame is divided between day and night. What it means is that we have a day, day activities are much higher priced than the night activity. Okay, so basically in this, whenever we use uh, electricity or energy during the daytime, the price per kilowatt is going to be much higher compared to that of a night. So the time of usage is something which is crucial to understand. Second thing which I want to discuss and engender on this fact is under the time of use tariff, the EV batteries can be used to contribute to the demand smoothening as it can be charged during night which is the peak off, off peak period which has low electricity price. Now if we were to put the charging from the car and give that to the house during peak hours we'll be saving much energy where where we we'll be taking the energy from the supplier so that reduction is also an, another scenario if EV is at home and EV is charging and using its charge to give the charge back so basically what this whole idea is saying is that you have your car okay and then this car you charge it at night during the night once the car has been charged you give your home supply during the day so you don't have to take the power from the manufacturers of electricity the suppliers during the daytime giving them high price tariffs so you're saving that high type tariffs and taking energy during the night time when the night time has reduced tariff price there is another way to even save much more energy how can we do that the other options are teslas are inventing a sunroof so basically on top of your house we have solar panels installed on your roof so during the daytime when it's high peak period the energy is being consumed into the energy pack and transferred back to the supplier though what happens is that at the end your net is subtracted by the amount of energy that you have supplied okay and that is what you pay for and that comes out to be much cheaper than the actual price if you're even using at the off-peak period. Alright, now let's look at it in a graphical manner. What does it actually mean? So, here you have in the y-axis electric price, which is in euros per kilowatt hour. It could be in dollars, anything is okay. So, as I said, during the peak hours, peak hours are from 12 a.m to 12 p.m. and here you have afternoon hours which is on peak here is the way where the charge of electric price is much higher than at here because this time we are all sleeping almost and this time is when we are all working okay so this is the case so here what we are actually understanding and doing is that during this time we're charging our car and in the first case we charge our car in off peak and use that energy to supply to our house 
during on peak okay so from car to house from off peak to on peak this is one way to save the energy second scenario tells us that hey what if there's solar panel installed on the house so during the off peak period there is no energy consumption because there is no sun however during on peak we supply the energy to the supplier at the premium at which we're getting and then during the off peak the remaining energy we can use it in our house so technically if everything goes right we don't have to pay nothing we pay nothing all right so at the end how does our whole simulation of this energy saving look like well if you want to talk about it in a graphical description it looks like if we were having something like the energy cost compared that with number of fuel cycles so even though our fuel cycles of energy consumption are increasing throughout the whole period the actual cost for the energy that premium price we pay is actually decreasing and it's only decreasing because of the methods that are being mentioned over here okay these two methodologies are something that can save a heck load of money to the ones who are being installed into this strategy now you can see the energy consumption and the benefits of the energy protection that you're getting when you have installed this strategic movements in your house if you do so you can see the premium price that that went from 25 pounds 0.25 pound per kilowatt hour to 0 0.05 pounds per kilowatt hour and you can see the last comparison from that also do you need to keep in mind is that the number of cycles that are being used over here at which we paid this premium price for was about 1200 number of cycles how have having said that now that we are using almost twice the cycle as this one we are paying only this much premium so you can see it's almost as if you are paying nothing and although it is naive to say zero dollars for the electricity bill it is possible and if following these two strategic movements and installing this tesla solar roof you can do so having understood the energy cost of time of usage and off peak and on peak hours we can, the answer to can we save ele can electric vehicle reduce electricity bill the answer is definitely yes and we have proved it in the video that i have showed you also in addition to this if you want to look at this and uh, research paper this is the url that you need to go to and it's a short link of IEEE research paper and uh, that's pretty much it I hope you liked the video thanks for watching if you understood it uh, give it a like subscribe thanks for watching